In the last video, I introduced you to the Google AdSense program and showed you how to register for an AdSense account. In this video, I'd like to show you how to replace your affiliate product offer with low margin ads from Google AdSense and from Amazon.com. So here is my test website and in the top right hand corner is the affiliate ad that I created on day 4. The first thing that I'm going to do is to use Market Samurai to replace this static affiliate ad with a set of dynamic ads from Amazon.com. To get started, I just open up Market Samurai and go across to the Monetization tab in the Navigation panel. You'll notice that there's now a new icon over here that allows you to generate dynamic content. As the text indicates, this feature allows you to create targeted ads based on your chosen keywords or your web page content. So let's take a look and see how it works. The first thing I need to do is to enter a campaign title. For this example, I'll use Piano Products. Next, I need to choose a campaign type. At the moment, my options are Clickbank Hop Ads, which allow you to display a collection of Clickbank affiliate links, Google AdSense, which allows you to earn commissions for each click, the eBay Editor, which allows you to display relevant auction listings on your site, and Amazon Omakase, which is a Japanese term which means it's up to you. This gives you access to Amazon's wide range of products and you'll receive a commission on the total value of any referred sales. For this example, I'm going to select this last option. And now I can just come up here and click the Start New Campaign button. Now because I set up an Amazon account when I was looking for products to promote on day 4, my Amazon account should still be listed in this drop down box. However, if you don't have an Amazon Associates account, you can click here to sign up for one. Alternatively, if you have an Amazon account but haven't set it up in Market Samurai, then just enter a reference name in this field and then your affiliate name below and click the Add Account button. But as I mentioned, I've already done this, so I can just come up here to the drop down box and select my Amazon account. This area now gives me control over the look and feel of my ad. From this drop down box, I can choose a size and orientation for my ad. For this example, I'm going to choose a 120 by 600 pixel skyscraper. These options allow me to change the appearance of the ad, but I think I'll just accept the defaults here for now. And then down here I can change the colours. So I might just change the border to a blue to match the colour of my website. And you'll notice that my preview updates accordingly. Now all I have to do is come down here and click the publish button. So here we are on the publish copy page. Once again, because I've already set up my WordPress direct account, I can just select it from this drop down box. I can then click the retrieve blogs button which brings back a list of my blogs. Now because I want to replace my existing ad with my new dynamic Amazon ads, I'm going to come down here and click the clear button to clear my existing ad. And now I should be all set to press the publish button. Market Samurai updates my blog and then lets me know that it's published my new sales offer. So if I click here, I can see what my new ads look like. So here you can see that my affiliate ad has now been replaced by a collection of dynamic Amazon.com ads. And because these ads are dynamic, you'll notice that the offers change as I navigate to the different pages of my website. So that's the first step in converting our site to use low margin, context specific advertising. The next step is to add some Google AdSense ads to our site. So let's go back to Market Samurai and see how this works. To get started, I'll just close this and then I'll click the Return to Start button. 
Now I want to generate some more dynamic content so I'll come up here and click on this button once again. This time I'll call my campaign Piano AdSense and then I'll come across here and select the Google AdSense type before clicking the Start New Campaign button. Now as you saw in my previous video, I've registered for my Google AdSense account but I haven't yet set it up in Market Samurai. So let me just show you how to do this. The account name field is just a name for me to refer to my account, so I'll call it Anthony's AdSense. The next field is my publisher ID, and to find my publisher ID, all I have to do is click this link down here. Market Samurai then opens a new window where I can log into my Google account. Now yesterday, I received an email from Google to let me know that my Google AdSense account had been approved. So, I can now log into my account with my email address and my password. OK, now up here on the right is where I can find my publisher ID. So, I'll just highlight it, click my right mouse button and select copy. Then I can log out of here and close this window to return to Market Samurai. I can then click into this field, click my right mouse button and select paste. And now all I have to do is click the add account button. Having set up my account, I can now choose the format for my AdSense ads. This time I'm going to select a 468 by 60 pixel banner. Once again I'll choose a blue border to match the colour of my website. And then I can come down here and click the Publish button. On the Publish page, I'll once again select my WordPress direct blog. And then this time, I'm going to select the Banner Ad option. Now because I'm creating a new ad, I'll enter a title. And I'll just accept these defaults and come down here and click the Publish button. Market Samurai now connects to my blog and then lets me know that it has successfully published my new banner ads. And when I click this link, I can see my website with the new Google AdSense ads at the top of the screen and my dynamic Amazon ads at the side of the screen. Both these ad groups are dynamic and will change the ads they present so that they're always relevant to the content of my blog. So that's all there is to replacing your static affiliate ads with dynamic ad groups from Amazon.com and Google AdSense. That's all from me today, so I'll see you again next time.